Hey everyone, to kick off March at Gatopia.com, we're gonna take a look in the entire month at harmonic minor for beginners. Last month's feedback on melodic minor for beginners was fantastic, so I wanted to present harmonic minor this month. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, I'm still very under the weather and probably despite better judgment, decided to uh, get this week's content done. But we're gonna start with a very simple situation. Minor blues, one, four, five minor blues that you've probably played over a ton of times, but maybe you didn't notice that the five chord wasn't minor, it was dominant. And that's where you wanna play harmonic minor over top of. Um, here's a really quick, very simple example of what we're gonna do over top of that situation. Again, we think of harmonic minor. First of all, it's very simple. It's minor, but with a major seven. You hear harmonic minor as far as the phrase, and sometimes a lot of people think Malmsteen, because he's kind of known for playing harmonic minor. That's not the only way you can use it. We're gonna, I'm gonna present four very beginner kinds of ways, as you saw, a very simple kind of thing, but it's just gonna lock everything into place. That minor blues that you've played over a million times, over the five chord, you're gonna play harmonic minor. You're gonna learn why exactly in the lesson, I'm gonna show you very simple. That line there, very simple. Again, it's for beginners, um, note for note, and we're gonna embellish it from there. But that's what we're doing this entire month at Gatobia.com, harmonic minor for beginners. Another great scale to add to your palette. Get over there, less than four bucks a month for this and tons more. I'll see you there.